This is how you make your own pond. Basically what you need are fake lily pads, an area that you could dig up, and I even added my own mini construction site for my trucks. So basically what you need are is an area that you could dig, and you could use water, dirt, sand, and rocks. So you add the bulrushes, these are real bulrushes, especially when they're babies, you get them, and then you can put them in mud and grow them. My bulrushes are actually pretty growing, I'm surprised, but I water them pretty much every day, but you would have to maintain it to have this type of pond area. So I got these fake lily pads from the dollar store. Right now there's not that much water in my pond, but they actually are really good quality. They're a dollar fifty, and I, if you put water, you can put them in a pool or something, and they'll look pretty nice. The bulrushes are actually real, see. And I even added some of my fake uh, frog toys and crocodile toys. Well, it's just two. So for the construction area, there's some fake plants and a dude on enter. You need sand and a hill dirt. So you did. The cool part, I actually made a bridge with this old piece. Under here, the water, you can, when you water, you go from the other side. It'll go through here, or you could just water it here. So, basically what you need is, even though there's not, it's not fully covered up, it's good. You need to dig an area, like a very deep area. Then you cover it here, like a bridge area. Like, if you, it could be wood or anything too, if you want. It won't stay all the time, but when it does, it looks nice. The bulrushes have to be in a mud area or a sandy area, and then you grow them. You can even use grass and moss for display. So, yeah. The cool part, when you add sand, right now it actually just rained. So there's a sand area. I actually put dirt and a bridge for my trucks. So there's the parking area. So... Actually, here I got some little plants. I have to kind of fix it up too, and I'll show you what it would fully come out like. So, the water sometimes stays at least, it could stay really moist for at least two days or so. So, these are really realistic, pretty realistic. They're just covered in mud. Especially my frog. This one's pretty real. It's covered in mud though, because it's in the swamp. Just make it look real. And you just put it on there. Wait, I didn't show but yeah, I put them right there. Anywhere you want to. Like, if you have like a really big area, pretend if I dag up this whole area, the water probably would stay for a really long time. You could do that too if you want, but it would have to be more deeper and you would have to have more space for it. Mine is a basically more of a small area. So yeah, that's how you make it. Also, bulrushes, when they grow, they have seeds. If they actually do grow, you have to pull off the brown part when it's like spring. And you could act, not spring, when it's fall time, you just pick it off, rip it off, and then you just plant it. Oh, my hands are a bit muddy. I'm showing you the dirt area, but this is how you make it. Also, to pay attention to more detail, too. You could add the frogs on land. I couldn't fit the frog on the bulrush. It was not the bulrush, the lily pads because they have flowers. Uh, the dollar store also makes bigger ones if you're getting that, but mine's is really small, so there would be no point of getting the big one. The big ones are like a dollar more. I'm pretty sure, but I just wanted the little ones because, well, it would probably couldn't even fit at all. So see you next time.